The thinking behind the show in the box came out of the situation that we're all in. I didn't really want to kind of go back into a show or some sort of more digital process. The approach for this menswear collection was taking one technique or one idea and making it a total look. Each time when we were doing pieces, they had to kind of be quite peaceful in their approach and they had to be able to kind of work sculpturally on a mannequin. The key silhouettes this season have been of about volume. There's a heightened sense of um, architecture. There is impact. I love working with knitwear. I have been working with it for 10 years. What is so amazing about knit is you can take one singular kind of raw thread and then build a three-dimensional thing. Adoria's piece came from the art of basket making, the idea of blowing up craft. The basket became the top, the top became the basket. I wanted to make a piece which ultimately is an object in itself. What is interesting is how a technique that has been going for many, many, many generations can still have this contemporary effect. Shibori is a, a dyeing technique, kind of like tie-dye. We could use shibori in a weird way to make it feel like a light effect. Ultimately, Luave has become synonymous with leather goods. You know, ready-to-wear is kind of new to its history. And I like this idea that the bag and the garment became the same thing. It's like the two things have now merged into one. What everything was happening, I kind of felt like all the bags needed to be very straightforward and very direct. It's more about kind of the subtleties, softening of the shapes. The color palette is more subdued, but then you have punches like pineapple, which are got humor, it's got classicism and humor. The balloon bag we launched several months ago, it is a bag that I really like. It can be dressed down, it can be dressed up. We have started to learn over this sort of period of like quietness and reflection to use our hands, to express ourselves, to make bread, to knit or to do gardening. So I think within each garment from like the basket tops to a shearling to shibori, these things are all creative outputs by artisans. Each piece is a narrative to a kind of bigger story, the story of modern craft. When I first discovered Paul Cadmus, I noticed this painting that had been translated into a tapestry. I kind of was looking at this idea of how men after the Second World War kind of used needlepoint as a therapeutic process. In the painting, the guy is holding a mobile made out of um, objects from the beach. There is a fragileness to it. And I think sometimes, especially in menswear fashion, it is always nice to explore within clothing vulnerability because I think it is an emotional connection within clothing, which I think is probably what we need more of.